Episode 3, The Schizophrenic. The Belting Buccaneer boldly ventures onward through the forest. Like Little Red Riding Hood, Robin Hood, Grizzly Adams, and Daniel Boone. The sun sits in its easy chair, waiting the moon's face to shine above. Crazy birds like owls, slimy snakes, crawling upon their bellies. And the presence of a million eyes on the mind of one-eyed Cyclops. Owls, snakes, and eyes, oh my! The savant seer of a seaman sees through the obnoxiously obvious obstacle thrust into the mind of the wise and winsome wayfarer. What hocus pocus is this? My feet feel like lead. I cannot walk further. So why bother? Our hero decides to sit and sip a spell or two, uncorking one of the bottles of white wine. Cyclops is suddenly blinded with smoke. Materializing before the paralyzed pirate is an angry genie. She is a genie who has slept for thousands of years through the ages and times of Ali Baba and his 40 thieves. Aladdin and his lap and finally Major Nelson's genie. The genie has slept a long time. The genie became autistic when her mommy dropped her on her head and now she is disturbed. She threatens to kill Cyclops, but wait a minute. Hold everything. Cyclops can't die yet. He still has more lives in the dungeon. Roll two or six. Six, he lives. Now the genie, we want her to die. Roll two or six. Two, she dies. No, wait. She lives in servitude to the pirate. Her powers are limited to three wishes. Inability to kill Cyclops. Must kill on command. Okay, I think that about does it. There lies the objective, upon yonder hill of Arcades, paradise to pagans, or anyone with a quarter. Where Adam and Eve dared not to tread, but nobody ever told John Milton. The periled pair are in hot pursuit down the trail leading up to the castle. Only in poetry can you do this. They quickly become inseparable friends and the conversation of the pair rambles on in order to avoid fear. Carrying her bottle with her, the genie asks her newfound friend, Can you tell me of your philosophy? And of course, everyone has his or her own philosophy, or just plain love of wisdom. My philosophy of life consists of reason and will. The conceptual relationship of reason to will is such that the reason for will is to will reason. Jesus spoke of will more than reason. What? Not speak of reason? Was Christ a reasonable man? Aye, he was. Nay, my friend, he was not. He not once spoke of right reason. When he turned the tables in the temple, did he use reason? 
Nay, that action is irrational, and only a schizophrenic would do things irrationally. Nay, for I have said, the reason for will is to will reason. He had reason, but his reason was his father's will, and his father's will willed his reason. Aye, and you have turned the tables too. More could have been said of this philosophy, and probably will, but now the travelers venture deeper, always deeper, into the forest. The genie insists they are lost, but the pirate's parrot screeches and squawks as it repeats the line. Follow the yellow brick road. This has been The Schizophrenic. Thank you for listening. I am Michael.